Hey everyone, uh, Robert with Odd Random Thoughts here and uh, <clears throat> today I'm going to do a quick video on uh, putty. Um, in the last video we talked about how to create uh, public and private keys in order to uh, have secure logins uh, for SSH on your servers. So uh, now that we've done that and we've saved our key to where we can access our server through PuTTY on a Windows machine, what if you wanted to take that key with you and access your server from anywhere? Well, you can do that simply by putting uh, your private key, uh, which is, this is the one that we made uh, in the last video, and uh, the PuTTY program uh, I've just plugged in a USB stick here and uh, created a, f a folder just called YouTube. You can name it whatever you want and then put your your putty executable and your private key in that folder. <clears throat> now as far as your ses session information um, like your saved settings and stuff like that in putty uh, you're going to want to export that information so you can just import it into the machine uh, that you're using to access with that way it'll have all your settings your um, your login name your host name all that good stuff already set up for you <clears throat> so what you want to do on uh, the machine that you've been using say uh, your home machine is you want to open the registry editor and you can do that by just uh, hitting the start key on uh, your keyboard or you can um, click on the start button on your computer and just type in regedit R-E-G-E-D-I-T and it will pop open this window right here. <clears throat> now what you want to do is under current user you want to expand that and then go down to software and then scroll down until you find Simon Tatham expand that and then expand putty and then here you will see a sessions folder and that will have all of your saved sessions uh, just click on the sessions folder right click and choose export okay now you can go into your USB drive and into your folder where uh, your other two items are saved at and then just give it a name we'll call it sessions and hit save and then you're through with the registry editor on uh, your main computer so you can close that out now as you see we have a sessions file in our folder so we have our putty uh, we have our private key and we also have our sessions file <clears throat> now that private key I forgot to add in the last video that you can use um, you can copy that same public key and put it on as many servers as you want and then use the same private key and you can access all your servers off that same key so that's what I do is I just keep one private key and then any of these sessions that I want to log into I can just hold that one key and assign it to them so uh, but you will have to copy your public key information into your authorized key file on each server but anyway now that we have <clears throat> have this stuff here uh, we just go down here and eject our USB drive and then we can plug it in to any machine that we want to use to access our servers so I've chosen a uh, Windows 7 machine here and so what we want to do is go to that USB drive on our other computer um, in this case this is a Windows 7 machine and we'll just go into our folder there and then click on your sessions file right click and select merge and what that's going to do is that's going to put all of that sessions data into the registry of the new computer that you're wanting to use to access your servers with. So you click merge, uh, it'll ask are you sure that you want to do this and just click run and then click yes and it's going to ask you 
uh, do you want to add this information can you trust this file and we know we can because we just exported it so we'll hit yes okay so now it says these values have been successfully added so let's just make sure we'll click uh, on start and we'll go to our registry editor here and then we'll come into that same key value here Simon Tatham putty and sessions and as you can see it's imported all of those sessions from that file into the correct spot in our new registry now if you already had saved sessions in this registry it would just add those new ones to it it wouldn't overwrite the existing ones it would just merge them all together so we'll close out the registry editor now um, on our new computer here we can just double click on putty and you can see we have all our saved sessions ready to go but one thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the location of your authentication file to the private key <clears throat> so we can just uh, we can go to our YouTube test server and we can load that and then go down to authentication and instead of where we did have it located we'll click browse and now we want to be sure that we are in our USB drive in our folder there and that's our private key that we had saved on that USB drive so we'll just double click on it and then go back to sessions and then we can click save okay and now uh, we can just double click on our server here or we can uh, just click open as long as we have it loaded uh, by the way I did have to change my host name to an IP here because I'm doing this in a virtual machine and uh, the DNS is not routed properly for this one but uh, I can uh, just put in uh, the IP here or your host name whatever uh, you're using and then just open the file it'll ask it's not cached in the registry uh, just click yes and as you can see it logged in with our username our RSA key and we are logged into our server so that's uh, that's all you have to do um, in order to export your registry settings for for putty uh, onto a USB drive and then uh, you can access uh, your servers from any machine uh, just be sure and when you plug into a new machine right click on sessions and merge and then when you uh, open up putty just be sure to go to uh, the server you want to access and load it and then go back down to uh, your authentication section and browse to your private key on the USB stick and then uh, just save that and then you'll be able to connect so the next time you go to that same machine you can just plug in and it'll already have the registry settings ready to go um, it does not save any of your key information on that computer because you're keeping it private on your USB stick so it's a pretty safe method for accessing your server from anywhere I uh, hope this has been helpful and uh, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up if you uh, if this helped you out so thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video bye bye